All right, guys, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about motor swapping your 94 to 04 Mustang GT. So let's get into today's video. All right, so before we get into it, um, I know you guys might be saying, who the hell is this guy to tell us anything about motor swaps or anything about the SN95 and the New Edge Mustangs? And uh, the only thing I have to say in response to that is, ask your mummy. That's what, ask your mummy. She know about me. She know about me. This is where I got from. <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, guys, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you around to all my different Mustangs that I have here at the shop. I'm gonna show you exactly that I do know what I'm talking about. This one, everyone seems to love this car. This is my four valve swap Mustang GT. It has a 2005 Lincoln Aviator motor in it. And uh, it's pretty stock, just uh, a tone, cooling head mod, crossover delete pipe in the front of the motor, and uh, well, the diff, 410 gears, Scotty D angle kit. So nothing much to really talk about. I'm gonna show you the engine. There she is, four valve swapped. Factory two valve harness, um, just adjusted so that it works with all the four valve stuff. Uh, three core radiator, like I said, the crossover pipe delete kit. Uh, from MMR, but pretty stock. So this is one of my uh, four Mustangs. And uh, this one is four valve swap. It's an 03 with an 05 Lincoln Aviator motor in it. This old girl over here definitely is rough around the edges, but she has a built five liter motor in it uh, from a 93 Mustang. And it needs a lot of love, but it's a uh, it was running I had it on the ground actually running already, so I just need to actually uh, do all the work to get this thing ready to go in the car, running and driving. But this is a V6 body actually, so all you V6 guys that are always crying about your motor swap, it's actually easier to swap in a 5.0 than it is to swap in a 4.6, so you might want to consider that. This is the second Mustang. If you come over here, I bought this Mustang knocking. And um, now I have the intake off because we're gonna replace the intake, but this is a two valve Mustang. So this is, would be what a factory Mustang GT would come with. And uh, this one does look rough around the edges and needs a lot of love, just like pretty much every car I own. But as you guys can see, I have a 5.0, I have a two valve, and I also have a four valve. This one actually had a four valve motor in it and now it's completely gutted because we're gonna do the unthinkable and we're gonna put a Chevy 5.7 uh, from a boat out of a Mercruiser in it. And I'll show you that engine right now. Here it is with everything on top of it. Let me take this stuff out. 5.7 Mercruiser engine out of a boat and we're gonna put it in my Mustang. Um, she is solid, she has a 600 CFM carb, HEI distributor, and uh, she pretty much, that's all she's gonna need to run once she's in the car, so. It's just me, I've been slunking, I've not been uh, working on it. I need to get this thing in the car because it is running as it is on the stand. It just needs the carb and the distributor to go on and she'll fire right up, so. The carbureted setups are definitely easy to come by and easy to work on, but there you have it. Chevy swapped, four valve swapped, two valve swapped, and um, or at least it has a two valve in it. And now we're gonna talk about um, pretty much swapping them into any of the 94 to 04 Mustang GTs. All right guys, let's get right down to business. Now that you've seen my four valve swap, I have a two valve Mustang, 5.0 Mustang. Um, I've even actually have a S14 that's 5.0 swapped, uh, but we won't talk about that in this video. Uh, I want to make something clear to everyone out there. Everyone has a bias to which motor they like the most. Some people swear by the two valves, the four valves, the 5.0s. My thing is I've driven 5.0s, I've driven two valves, and I have a four valve, so I've driven all of them. And I'm going to be honest with you, the power band, where it creates power, is the only difference between all motors. The 5.0 feels like it's extremely torquey, but doesn't make as much horsepower as these two valves and four valves in factory form. Keep that in mind. The two valve makes more 
horsepower but not as much torque as these four valves. The four valves makes more horsepower and torque than all of these motors, but it's a dual overhead cam motor and it has a timing chain tensioner failure thing that's common with them. So it really just depends on which motor you want to go with or which one is easiest for you to obtain to put in the car and get running with a certain budget. So definitely budget is the next thing. Um, a four valve motor is going to make more horsepower per upgrade than a 5.0 and a two valve. So if you get a four valve motor and you put headers on it and you put headers on a 5.0 and you put headers on a two valve motor, the four valve motor is going to make more horsepower with the headers compared to the 5.0 compared to the two valve. So keep that in mind. No matter what bolt-ons you do, you'll never make more horsepower per upgrade than a four valve motor. That's why people really put those in their car. And um, let's talk about aftermarket support. You're not gonna get a better aftermarket support than a 5.0 Mustang. Those things have been around for so freaking long that everyone makes parts for them. The two valve is very similar, but the aftermarket support for 5.0 motors is just by far one of the best. Uh, you're not gonna beat it. Harley makes kits for them, for carbureted, for the Sniper EFI, the Terminator X. Uh, Harley does that for the four valve and a two valve motor as well. So if you're gonna swap one of these motors into something that's not a Ford, definitely check out Holly and uh, they should have a kit for you to wire up a four valve, two valve or 5.0 in pretty much any vehicle that you have. So when it comes to choosing one of these, you have to figure out where you are and how much money you wanna spend. And what I mean by that is, if you're in a V6, the 5.0 is definitely gonna be easiest swap you can do. If you're in a V8, the four valve swap is gonna be the easiest swap you can do. So let's say you blow up your two valve. A four valve motor can use the stock two valve harness, motor mounts, transmission, gearbox. Uh, the only difference is sometimes if you don't have the correct flywheel, some are eight bolt, some are six bolt. Other than that, you can use the stock clutch from a two valve on a four valve. Everything bolts up. The only thing that you're gonna make sure uh, need to get for your four valve motor is either you're gonna have to use the stock headers or you're gonna have to get yourself some shorty headers or long tube headers for them. Uh, the headers on the two valve and the four valve is uh, one of the differences. And then you're gonna adjust the wire harness to extend wires and reverse polarity on the coil on plug setup and you are good to go. The four valve swap is something that I've been attempting to do for the past few years. And I think I finally got it down packed when it comes to this vehicle. So I'm biased to the four valve motors and I'm gonna say that right out. I love these things. I first got a 2003 Marauder and Hurricane Dorian took that thing underwater. And ever since I've been hooked on the uh, four valve motors, but two valves run extremely well. 5.0s run extremely well. Uh, I've had a 5.0 in a Mustang with a two barrel carburetor. 500 TFM, something like that. And that thing ran like a bat out of hell. The best daily 5.0 setup you can ever get. So it really is, and it really does just come down to preference. No matter what anyone tells you, these things make right around the same horsepower. They feel the same to your butt dyno. If you drive a stock 5.0, a stock two valve, a stock four valve, they kind of feel the same. A stock four valve is gonna have the horsepower edge on all of them. She makes more horsepower and torque. But you put about 250 bucks into a 5.0 or a two valve and it's gonna feel extremely similar to a four valve. So power band, where they make power is the difference. How much money it's gonna to take to swap it into your vehicle is another difference. And uh, pretty much just bias. Uh, there's definitely more motors than a 5.0, a two valve and a four valve that you can swap into these vehicles. But I was talking about Ford swaps in this um, segment. If you want to put an LS in this thing, that is also super affordable. They make swap kits for the LS to drop right in here. Uh, I know all of you Ford purists are probably throwing up by now, but people do it. You know, I'm just keeping them included in the video because people do LS swap these things. They also 350 swap these things and um, they put glides in them. They do a lot of stuff. This new S chassis, I've been saying it for a while now, has definitely been the domestic replacement to the S chassis. Everyone has an S chassis the same way that everyone has a New Edge or SN95 Mustang. These things can accept any motor. Um, amazing aftermarket support. 
And uh, the forums on these are just rich with information on what to do with them. And uh, any given setup can make you um, very good horsepower. And also you have budget setups, you have mid-range setups, and then you have expensive setups. That's in any vehicle, but you can LS swap these things. Um, I've seen people put four cylinders like from Hondas in these things. I've seen someone on YouTube put a Jay-Z in these things. It really just depends on how you bolt them up in the car and also what transmission you're gonna use because you're gonna need a custom drive shaft to get it to the rear end. Other than that, I think that's just about it and that does cover the video. The main point I was trying to make in this video is that for anyone that's on the fence about a 5.0, a two valve, a four valve, they're pretty much the same when it comes to power band. Uh, they run very, 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 very similar. Uh, the only difference is, like I said, the four valve has the edge on them because let's say you put five PSI of boost on a 5.0, on a two valve and a four valve, the four valve is gonna make more horsepower per upgrade. So uh, she has the edge in that scenario. But other than that, they pretty much drive and run um, identical. And uh, depending on what exhaust, what upgrades you put on them, they'll start to edge out one another. But I am, like I said, totally biased to the four valve motors. I love them to absolute death. And uh, whichever motor you want to go with, you're not going to take, you're, you're not going to lose on it. That's for sure. So 5.0, two valve, four valve, it doesn't matter. Get one, put some upgrades in it, boost it, and uh, go have some fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.